Today I'll show you how HubSpot's CRM system works. Keep all your deals, companies and contacts neatly organized under one roof. Superhacks, the HubSpot expert. Presented by WPWA Digital. Hi, I'm Svenja, Head of Martech and Systems at WPWA Digital. As an official HubSpot Platinum Partner, we support you with everything related to HubSpot. In HubSpot, you have all your contacts, companies and deals in your CRM part. Let's take a look at the company section. Here you see all company records which are currently in your CRM system. In addition to the records, you can also map all relevant information to the respective records. For example here, the company owner. So you can always keep track of which employee and HubSpot user is currently working on the company. You can also save other information like the industry or the country and region. Here HubSpot is quite flexible, so you can map all information you need and also flexibly configure the columns which are needed. For example, we can just add the postal code as another column and quickly drag and drop it onto the right place. So now you have all relevant information at a glance on this index page. Let's take a look at the contact section in your CRM. Here you can see all contacts which are currently in your CRM system. On contact level, you also have an owner, the contact owner, which indicates who's currently working on the contact. An important property is the lead status. It tells you if you're currently working on a new contact or if you're already in progress with a contact. Maybe you already have an open deal in the system or the contact is unqualified, so you are not pursuing the contact any further. As a next step, Let's take a look at the object. The objects in HubSpot are built like this. On the left hand side, you have all relevant information about the object, in this case about the contact. And don't worry, you can flexibly adjust which fields you want to feature here. Above, you have many shortcuts which you can use to work on the contact in HubSpot. You can create a note, directly write an email from HubSpot, make a phone call, create a task or schedule a meeting. In the middle column, you have all activities which have been already happening on your contact. In this filter overview, you see what's possible. You can save calls, emails, LinkedIn messages, even WhatsApp and SMS to HubSpot. Of course, you can log meetings and, as I said, create notes and tasks. But also other activities like form submissions can be tracked. Let's create a task together. If you want to call a contact, you can simply create a task either for yourself or you can also assign this task to one of your colleagues at a dedicated point in time. You can also leave a note for yourself or for your colleague and decide if you want to save it solemnly to the contact or if you also want to map the task on company level so you see all relevant tasks happening on the company. On the right hand side, you see the connected object. In this case, you see the connected company. In HubSpot, you can also work internally with your colleagues. For example, if I want to save a note and actually notify my colleague, I can just use the add sign and let my colleague know that I have some important information regarding the contact. In addition to the task on the contact record, you also have an overview of all tasks which are happening and saved in HubSpot in the dedicated task overview. As you can see here, these tasks are assigned to myself, but it's also possible to see your team's tasks or your colleague's tasks if you just choose the correct colleague. HubSpot also creates some other default task rules for you. You can see which tasks are due today, important, which are already overdue and should be carried out and which are upcoming. So also in this task, you have many filter opportunities. Now you might be asking yourself, how can I get contacts and companies into the system? That's simple. In HubSpot, you can simply create a contact via the internal contact creation form. You decide which fields should be seen on this form because you can also edit it and configure it to fit your needs. Another option is to import contacts. This is a simple process. You start an import and choose which type of objects you would like to import. In this case, we take companies and contacts. Then we choose the import file. Press next and HubSpot leads you to a detailed mapping process. Here you have the name of the column in your import file and you can just map it with a company property or a contact property. Enjoying the video so far? Show us by giving it a like. And if you don't want to miss any HubSpot tips, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Of course, you can also segment your contacts and companies in HubSpot with lists. Simply go to create a list and choose for which object you are creating the list. 
Now you can choose filters, which search your contacts in your CRM. You can search based on contact properties, plus there are numerous other filters which can be taken. For starters, let's take a look at the contact properties. For example, lead status. Here we can simply filter for all leads which have at the moment the lead status open deal. And HubSpot will search your whole database. Don't forget to review and save your list. As a last step, you have to choose if you're taking an active list or a static list. The difference is with active lists, HubSpot will subsequently search the whole database. For example, if you hand out the lead status open deal tomorrow to a contact, that contact will also land on our list. If you choose a static list, only contacts which currently match the filters will stay on your list. If you hand out the lead status open deal to a contact tomorrow, that contact won't appear on your list. Let's move on to the deals. This is your deal pipeline. It gives you a great overview of where your deals are currently at in the sales process. Of course, it's possible to configure your deal pipeline. What can you do in HubSpot? You can either use the default deal stages, you can rename them, but of course you can also add a stage. That's possible. Don't forget to always have a closed one and a closed lost stage. In addition, think about what deal probability you will choose for which stage. This can be easily adapted. A nice functionality for your deal pipeline is also the conditional stage property. These properties are used if you want certain properties to always be filled when a deal is created. For example, the amount. By setting the property amount to required, you require users which are creating deals to always fill in the amount. So this is a useful functionality if you need properties which always have to be filled for certain deal stages. Let's take a look at the deal object. The deal object is built like the contact object and also the company object. On the left hand side, you have your most important information about the deal. And you also have certain shortcuts. On top, you find all relevant information for your deal. The amount, the close date, the stage and the pipeline. Remember that these properties are important later on for your reporting. In the middle column, you have all activities which have been happening on the deal. Plus, you can filter again just like on the contact object. On the right hand side, you have your connected object. So you see that the deal is connected to a certain contact and to a certain company. So how can you create deals in HubSpot? That's simple. You just use the internal deal creation form. When creating a deal, you can directly associate this deal with a certain contact in HubSpot and with a certain company. Lastly, how can you monitor your performance in HubSpot? HubSpot offers a huge dashboard and report section. It's fairly easy to just create a dashboard out of the box. As you can see, there are many pre-built dashboards. For example, deal analytics with these reports or also a revenue dashboard with these reports. With just a few clicks, you can just save your dashboard to your HubSpot account. If you're not looking for a whole dashboard, but just wanna add a single report, you can take a look at the reports library. Here you can filter for data sources, for example, deals, and even choose the visualization. As you see, HubSpot offers a wide range of reports. If you want to add this report to a certain dashboard, this is also done with just a few clicks. That's it. Got more questions or video requests? Drop them in the comments. And if you're thinking about implementing HubSpot in your company or want some personal advice, just click the first link in our video description. 